And President Trump with a positive take on the results, saying that there are great outcomes from the midterm elections. He wasted little time making that point during a far-reaching press conference this morning. KCAU 9's Mark Meredith was there and asked the president how he believes his rallies across the country impacted the outcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, two questions. One, I know you went through the results and you obviously studied them late last night. What lesson did you learn most from looking at those results? Was there one thing that, as you kind of reviewed them, that you'll change your strategy, not just for Congress, but kind of going forward? I was a very, very tough race in Kentucky, and he was down quite a bit. And I went there, and we had a tremendous, very successful. Some of you were at that rally, and he won that race. But I could only do that so much because there are just so many players involved. But I did focus on the Senate, and we had tremendous success with the Senate. Now, Trump took a variety of other questions during that news conference, including some about his cabinet. At the time, Trump saying as a whole he was extremely satisfied with his cabinet. But not long after the press conference, we learned of the latest change in the Trump administration. Attorney General Jeff Sessions out as Attorney General after the president effectively fired him. In a letter to White House Chief of, Chief of Staff John Kelly, Sessions wrote, quote, at your request, I am submitting my resignation. President Trump said that Matthew Whitaker will take over as acting attorney general. Whitaker, who was Sessions' chief of staff, is also expected to take charge of the Russia investigation. Trump tweeted a permanent replacement for Sessions will be nominated at a later date.